What's up everybody, it's Desiree, aka La Capture, and in this video, I'm gonna give you some tips when you're color grading in Premiere Pro. I like to color my footage using adjustment layers. They're basically like nodes from DaVinci being able to separate each step that I do. So instead of directly affecting the clip, I'm able to turn the layer on or off to see the difference and free to delete my previous steps without affecting the other color settings. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add my adjustment layer here and drag it onto my timeline. I typically have three to four adjustment layers. My first adjustment layer is always my basic color correction or my Rec 709, meaning going from that S-Log flat image to bringing those realistic colors back in. So because I know that I film all my content in S-Log 3, I already have my LUT set. So I just add that into that layer. So this is before and this is after. We could see that it brought some contrast, shadows, and saturation in, but for my second adjustment layer, I like to add more contrast and shadows to the picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my curves first. The RGB curves, they all work individually. So on the bottoms, we have shadows. You're either adding some or you're taking away some. For the middle, you have your midtones, which affects the whole picture. For the top, you have your highlights. You're either adding some or you're taking away some. So for my red tones, basically red curve tones the picture either towards the red when you're bringing in some or towards its opposite, which is turquoise. As you can see, it's bringing in some of that turquoise when I pull away the reds. For green, the green curve tones the picture either towards green or towards its opposite, which is magenta. As we pull down, we see more magenta coming through. So the blue curve tones the picture either again towards blue or towards its opposite, which is yellow when you take away blue. The RGB curve changes the photo's overall brightness and contrast. So that's what RGB curve is. So I like to just play around with my whites first. I like to bring this here, kind of adding more shadow to my image. And sometimes, you know, the S curve is nice. I'll bring the midtones kind of down and then my highlights a little bit up and then i'll go into my basic correction add more contrast shadow highlights whites if needed so i'm gonna add more contrast here only because i know i will be duplicating the image which i could do right now i'm gonna duplicate the clip and then i'm gonna add that mist glowy effect because i know i'm gonna add that it's gonna make the image a lot brighter as you can see so i'm just gonna play around with the settings till i feel like it fits. So I'm gonna go back to my second adjustment layer and kind of just play around. As you can see, the sky's a little bit blown out. So I'm gonna find that fine balance with that effect along with my color correction. But once I'm set with my color correcting for my color grading, I'm gonna grab another adjustment layer as my third one. And that's where I kind of go into the whole creatives here. If you have LUTs already put in, um, vibrant saturation, shadow tint, highlight. I like to play around with the curves tab here. I like my image a lot more warmer. So what I'm gonna do is kind of add a little bit of red into the image, but also a little bit of green so I could mix those two up. Very slight adjustments here make the biggest difference. So this is with, this is without, with, without you can kind of see the difference already so for hue versus saturation that basically means that you could select any color in your footage and saturate it say that i want the blue in the sky to be a lot more vibrant so i'm going to create some points between the blue where i think it would increase and as you can see it is increasing already so I'll kind of make another point to drag it up even more. You do want to watch out though. It could cause some grain in your image depending on the exposure of it. So that's hue versus saturation. Here's with it, here's without it. It's a little dull without it now, and here's with it. The sky is a lot more blue. But now I want to change the blue into a different hue. Hue versus hue is where we want to change the color. So again, I'm going to mark my points around the blue area and then play around with it until I feel like it fits. So you can see when I'm dragging it up, it'll go orange. So this is what you wanna watch out for right here. You see the grainy images. 
here, it's because it's not all one solid color. Now I'm gonna bring it all the way down. Now it's purple, but I wanna bring it to a, a nice, you know, still kind of blue, but more turquoise color. So that's why I'm gonna bring it here. Alrighty. So I'm gonna just go ahead and color correct a little bit more, color grade a little more. So now that I've color graded it, as you can see, I have that orange shadow tint on here that I added. These are my settings for this color grading. So I kind of brought it, brought it to the S, fixed it a little bit for my second layer, and then added some reds to it, added a little bit of green in the midtones, and then took away a little bit of blue. For hue versus saturation, like I said earlier, I brought up the blues in the skies with that tab, and then hue versus hue. And there's a lot more you could play around with, but that's just this image specifically. So how to add that glowy, dreamy effect without a mist filter. So in Premiere, you're gonna search up Gaussian Blur. You're gonna drag that onto your top clip that you duplicated, making sure it's still under all the adjustment layers. This won't work on an adjustment layer. That's why you have to duplicate it. Once that's on your layer, you're gonna go ahead and go into blend mode and you're gonna change it to screen. And then from there, you're gonna just play around with your blurriness, your opacity. I like to do this prior to my color grading just so I know how bright it is because adding that effect can make your clip significantly brighter. So yeah, that's basically how I color graded this. It's just playing around with the tones. You know what I'm saying? Getting that boop-de-bop, boop-boop-bop. Alrighty, 